Productivity Arata. Have you ever tried to create a new habit? Did you find it difficult to make your new habit an integral part of your day-to-day -day routine? Perhaps you managed to implement a new routine for a few days, but then eventually you returned to your old ways. If you are curious to know what is the most difficult aspect of instilling a new habit, grab your notebook and a pen to write down the answer. The psychological and emotional explanation behind changing habits is the relative ease or difficulty of performing the habits. And I say this from experience. In Adat Academy, we have tens of thousands of students and we've worked with everybody and we noticed that the people who had the most difficulty were the ones who did not follow our recommendations to keep things simple and they decided to complicate things. If you follow the recommendation to keep it simple, it's guaranteed you can create your new habit. Understand the weakness of most habit-changing systems. People with a lot of experience and great intentions have been creating many different productivity methods. There are also organizations fully dedicated to helping their customers, their communities, to change their habits. A very famous example is Alcoholics Anonymous, which has a 12-step program so that members can finally change their habits. The 12-step program works very well for a lot of people. Keep in mind that every method out there has its merits and will be suitable for a specific group of people. If you identify with the proposal and if you're able to integrate it um, with all the other aspects of your life in a balanced, harmonious way, well, congratulations, you will be able to change your habit. What about the people who cannot seem to find a good fit with any particular method? Why do some people try everything and still see no results? Why do some people fail to change their habits? Know thyself. The root of the problem is that methods are created for a specific profile of person. Imagine a method created to increase focus for children at school. It will not particularly work for adults trying to increase focus at work. There was a time when I was very stressed, I was overworked, I needed urgently to become more productive, and I was reading everything I could find about many different methods. Some of these worked very well for me, but others hindered me more than it helped. And during this research phase, I was interested to see what some things were working well for some groups of people and what were not necessarily working well for other groups of people. And after learning a lot, I managed to put everything together and to the Productivity Ninja course. And I'm very happy today to say that we have students from all over the world and they are very satisfied. And the secret to this is that here in Productivity Ninja, we don't try to push pre-formatted rules that everybody has to follow. And this is the most important element of all. See, if you're trying to implement any kind of a habit-changing method, and if that material is not flexible to, to make it customized for you, for your needs, and they say something very specific such as, you must meditate five minutes of your day, and you must eat this um, organic spinach with a uh, Himalayan coconut oil, or something very strange to you, to your needs, to your reality, to your context, well, guess what? You will not implement. This is pretty obvious, isn't it? So it is important that you have self-knowledge. You want to look at any recommendation critically, rationally, so you can judge for yourself whether it is something that makes sense to you. And then you can create your own personalized style. You can use your creativity to adapt your ideas um, to your context. That is why the Productivity Ninja course works so well. We will explain to you all the principles of productivity and give you exercises that invite you to think by yourself and then you can understand what you can do according to your specific needs. When you choose the first habits that you will create, you must have smart criteria and you must understand your long-term vision. Only then you will truly understand which projects deserve priority. See, without this clarity, you will be paralyzed. You need to understand the opportunity cost 
and then select the projects that will bring you greater quality of life. Use your willpower to simplify. As you saw in the previous two episodes here in Productivity Arata series, the essence of creating a habit is very simple. Do not break the chain. Review the video in arata.se slash PE20. You need to focus to make sure that you can mark the X on your calendar every day. Then there will be that beautiful day when things just happen naturally, automatically. This is the time that you don't even have to try. You just, just go and do it. You don't need to use your willpower because the habit will be formed already. Because, see, willpower is limited. Instead of wasting our willpower, trying to carry out the activity that we want to perform, we can use our willpower to prepare the terrain, to remove the barriers ahead. Think of the habit that you want to create. Take your notebook, take a pen, and write down the obstacles that hinder you the most. What are the foreseeable circumstances that you will face as you try to instill this habit? What changes do you need to make in your environment and in the relationships with people around you to make this habit inevitable? What time in your schedule do you have to set aside in advance to devote yourself to practicing this habit? If you're watching this video, it is because at a certain point uh, you found it a little bit difficult to implement a new habit. You may have come across some other specific methodology that did not really meet your needs. Always remember to adjust the methodology according to your context. This is so important. Start simple. If you complicate it, it will not work. To start, the plan has to be simple and automatic. It has to be something that does not require a lot of effort from your side. If you try to embrace the world, especially if you're having already some trouble executing the simple things, it will be difficult. So be humble, moderate your excitement. You will be better off to take the first steps calmly and then accelerate later. If you are already a Productivity Ninja student, you can log in at the student's area and you will find a new bonus material that we just published today. And if you're having any difficulty to log into your student's area, you can always get in touch with our team at arata.se forward slash contact. This is important. This is the official communication channel. Please never write questions for support here on YouTube because our team will only provide support via our official channel. And if you're not yet a Productivity Ninja student, oh, well, you're quite likely using your time ineffectively. You're wasting your potential. Think with me. If you can start to create new habits now, your quality of life will increase a lot. So please visit arata.se forward slash time management to register today.